In this video, we're gonna build a foam starship inspired by the video game Homeworld. Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm MJ, I'll be your host this video, and uh, thank you, uh, welcome new subscribers, uh, thank you for your support, and uh, for today, I want to get right to the crafting bench, but before that, if you want to help support my work, you can check us out on Patreon, uh, we have bonus videos there, bonus, bonus games, bonus scratch builds, or you can hop on over to War Games Vault, and get my very own little uh, Scratch Builder Monthly. It comes out every month and it now has a new look. I am writing it completely with Canva, which makes a big difference uh, to the document. Without further ado, let's go to the workbench and uh, start today's craft. To make my starships, I use recycled produce trays. Uh, they have very good foam. I cut out some rectangles and I begin to cut the pieces of my ship, whatever ship I'm designing. This is going to be uh, inspired by Homeworld, a heavy cruiser. Uh, it's going to be inspired. It's not going to be exact, but it's going to be definitely inspired by that. So this is the way I start. There's three layers for the main hull. And then one of the primary tools is a file. And I have several different uh, kinds of files here that I use and that's what I use to give my shapes after I cut my foam pieces. So I usually uh, once I have my parts I use uh, the previous parts to uh, draw the rest of the of the ship of the hull the other parts that are necessary and I correct any imperfections during the filing. Um, so everything will be glued together and then I can start filing and really uh, correcting any other imperfections. So here is the bottom of the hull and we're going to cut that and do uh, the same uh, thing. We're going to do three layers of that and glue them all together with hot glue and then start the filing. Once the ship, all the pieces are together, I can also... Uh, file everything and get the shapes that I want. So as I said before when I cut one piece here is the lower hull and this is this is the plan right here okay that's the plan so uh, when I cut this bottom piece and I need copies I simply trace the piece with the pencil later everything gets glued together and then we start to file and correct things. Now I could just simply glue this piece onto the foam and then very carefully cut with the exacto knife but there is a risk when doing that and that is that you shave off pieces of the uh you know the previous uh shape so i have two copies of this piece of the hull and i usually use my first piece for all the copies so now i'm going to do the third one because this the thickness that I want involves three uh, pieces and usually when I make these copies I angle my pencil. I try to use a sharp pencil too, that really helps. It's time to put together this uh, bottom piece and basically all any imperfections or anything in the foam uh, can be filed a little bit just to be sure that it uh, glues nice and uh, that everything is nice and straight, you know, when you, you glue it. Uh, this is a heavy file, um, but I have smaller files also for these tight areas. And I like to use these cuticle files because they're nice and gentle on the foam as well. So uh, for this part of the filing process, um, I'm trying to get more uh, delicate strokes. So I don't want to do it too uh, intensely because that often will break pieces off, you know. And so you do have to be careful uh, when filing. And uh, I reserve the heavy duty shaping like on the bottom here with the, you know, I reserve that for this 
heavy duty uh, filing paper. So now that the ship hull has been put together, at least parts of it, um, we can start doing a little bit more filing and to give it the overall shapes. You see how this is angled. Um, we're doing that with the file this way. And I'm gonna do a little bit down here. It's gonna be a little bit squarer. Like I said, this isn't gonna be exact. I wanna add my own uh, flair to it, my own shapes. Okay, and I'm gonna hot glue the base uh, of the engine here. Um, it's like an engine cowling. I'm gonna do probably, yes, this, this is exactly the way I want it. All right, and then, uh, be surprised how well foam stands up. This kind of foam stands up to hot glue. I am using a lower temp gun that does help. Uh, a gun that's too strong will definitely melt your foam pieces. And for smaller foam, I use uh, tacky glue. I don't use uh, hot glue. I use uh, this white tacky glue. Uh, it works great for really small pieces and small details. Okay, and now the uh, platforms that are on the side of the ship, on port side and starboard side, I just made them, and then they have to be cut out, and then they have to be filed together to ensure that they're the same uh, size. And that's about the size that I want for the platforms. Uh, these platforms have guns on them. So I think I'm going to make them one foam thickness. Uh, we'll see. This bit rear one might be a little thicker. Uh, let's see. These uh, platforms are cut. I put them together and then I begin to file. And that's to ensure that, you know, uh, the angles are the way we want them. Okay, so for these rear weapon platforms, I did decide that it was going to be thicker. So these are going to be in the rear here. They're going to be thicker. So all I do is I hot glue a piece to another uh, piece of foam and then just cut around it with the exacto knife or better yet i have this uh, large knife that works very well okay so i just cut it and then file it to shape file the pieces to shape and uh, that's it they'll be ready to be installed okay so here are all the pieces that i have right here and uh in order to make the lower hull piece here i just trace the uh shape here and then make the lower hull shape. Once it's cut out, I glue it on a couple of pieces. I glue it on, I make it two uh, width stick, and that's gonna go here, okay? So why don't we glue on these pieces? I also have this little tab that's gonna go here in here, okay, and it's gonna plug that in. Okay, so here is the ship so far. Uh, we have the flight stand is already in and I'm just using a cocktail stick. We have the weapons platforms. We have to do the weapons, the turrets for the front, uh, turrets here on each of these platforms. And uh, once we're done all that, we can do the engines and then we can start scoring and adding detail. Okay, to make my turrets, um, this is the uh, shape that I use, okay? And we'll do one in just a second. Uh, and then I stick these little uh, needles right through the foam with glue, and those become the barrels, okay? And then uh, this is going to go right in the top half. We already have one down below. Now, we're going to make these turrets move, these primary turrets. So all I do is take another pin like this and carefully insert it right down the middle. So the pin has gone through both turrets, and now I can put a little piece there with glue and then uh, let things dry a little bit, and then these turrets have a little bit of motion okay so that's that's the whole idea i don't always do that uh it's just a cool little thing to have from time to time okay so we have our moving turrets 
all right over here our primary turrets uh, there's a piece of cardboard there that's glued and that gives it a little support it's also glued down here and then trimmed uh, so that gives the turrets that locks them in there these turrets are just all glued on okay and I'm gonna add the, the little uh, barrels in just a second I also started adding some detail as you can see we're gonna do the engines next and for down here you see how I cut this piece of foam and so the wider part is going to give me a little bit of a shape there that I need so let's uh, do that now and uh, this is almost finished we're going to be doing the rest of the details soon so for the rear of the ship uh, I use little bits of straw that really is the easiest way to uh, get the engine nozzles in there and then I'm going to take it off its base the these uh little cocktail sticks i use white glue for all of this no hot glue i made these winglets which are just little rectangular pieces of cardboard and basically that those little cocktail sticks are there to support the winglets okay so that's one winglet on that side and then we have the other one which i have to form okay and there are both winglets and we see how those cocktail sticks help support the cardboard and that is the rear of the ship we have to let this dry before we can finish it okay so I added some cardboard uh, just as extra little detail and then I slowly begin to score with a pencil some uh, details and just carefully um, you can also do this in the beginning uh, with a ruler it'll make it a lot better uh, you know straighter lines but basically I don't uh, put too much pressure into the pencil and that's really the uh main way of providing uh a little bit of detail and then when you uh ink wash these uh those little all that scoring uh really stands out you know which is the cool thing you can you can ink wash these or just give them a regular ac acrylic wash with watered down uh paint and those details really do pop out in some areas I'm going to do like frame the shapes of the foam with a little bit of scoring and basically I'm just doing tick marks and all kinds of geometric shapes and I'm just randomly randomly adding details okay well typically I like my ships very heavily weathered uh, so now uh, I'm bringing back some of the yellow coloration of the ship I started with the glue and yellow right colored everything in, in, in a mixture of white glue and yellow paint and I'm using these uh, app, apple barrel paints uh, and so basically uh, once I have the whole uh, ship painted yellow I go back and I make a wash out of a lot of water no glue just water in this case and jet black and that wash making sure it's very very wet and that it goes into all of these little uh, details that we scored and then I have to let it dry completely before coming back to it so now that it, everything is dry and all of the black is in the little details there we can now bring it back to yellow with a dry brush so uh, while the ship is outside drying I take a piece of black foam from one of these trays and I begin to shape the base uh, then I use one of these uh, magnetic buttons which are very heavy and use that to secure the ship and in the center and this is uh this is similar to painting any other model uh, of course 
foam does absorb uh, paint more so you if you want your model a little bit brighter you will have to do a couple of coats but uh, other than that it's pretty much painting you know it's it's paint like painting any other model okay so all right uh, let's see what else we can add giving a little bit of a pewter gray dry brush to the dark middle line uh, really helps the details pop out okay so yeah um it's looking pretty good just a few uh, odds and ends but this thing is uh, almost done there we go a tight on heavy cruiser from homeworld okay let's mount it on its base and i'm gonna shorten the flight stand and, and then we can paint it black okay and i'm gonna need some pliers to make sure that it goes in and let it go right through to the foam and we have a secured uh ship okay so there it is a tie-down cruiser from uh homeworld and uh, still gonna do some odds and ends fix it up a little bit but we have a new ship a new fleet in its early beginnings thank you for joining me folks and in the next video we're going to continue with this fleet and we'll uh start some of the smaller ships and also talk about some of the concepts of fleet design and proxy model design thank you very much folks and i'll see you in the next video.